my total field of view is only about 20%. She said, um, we'll put you on drops. And it just progressed, it got worse. Well, that's in case it goes wrong and you'll be blind, you won't have both eyes. But you listen to testimonials, but you're not quite sure how sincere they are until you come to the facility. They make you feel like home here. My name is Don Taylor, and I'm here from Florida. See, my eyes are too bad. Um, actually, I'm legally blind, but I, I still, I, I have very little vision in the left eye. The right eye has a little more vision. As long as I know you're, and I don't have to walk around and, and navigate, I'm fine. Okay. So I, I see you guys are in a cloud, you're like a fog. If we turn that light off, then you appear more vivid. It's, it's just part of the process. And this has just started to happen within a few months ago. That's why I know it's progressing worse. Over the years, it's progressed into, I always like to say regressed, but it has progressed to the point to where it started in 2009, where I was fine. I was playing racquetball, tennis with friends. I didn't notice anything, but my doctor doing one of my examinations says, oh, you need, um, she just checked everything. I was fine physically, but she says, why don't you have your eyes checked? Maybe you need, <clears throat> you, you may have cataracts and may want to have that removed. So I made an appointment with the ophthalmologist and she checked me out. She says, no, you don't have a cataract problem. You have glaucoma problem. And, um, mm -hmm. That's that cupping behind the uh, retina. And she said, um, we'll put you on drops. Well, that's all they do in the US is right away to give you drops. In Australia, I read where the doctors, they see your age and they see that your, your vision is good. They don't treat you with anything. They watch you to observe you. Here in the US, they start treating those symptoms right away which of course you're a patient, you don't know any better, you just take the, and it just progressed, it got worse. Then I had what you call SLT, because the drops didn't help after a year. Uh, my pressure was uh, around 11, left eye, and uh, 12, right eye, OSOD. And <laughs> the doctor says, well, I'm gonna have to refer you to another specialist. And he recommended SLT, selective, uh, selective laser trabectomy. So I had that done. And it was funny when he was doing it, I said, why don't you do both eyes? He says, well, that's in case it goes wrong and you'll be blind, you won't have both eyes. It was six months later that I'd lost nasal, left side. I mean, it happened so quickly, it just made me so nervous. And I was scared but I was driving 35 miles one way every day to work. And I did that for 14 years and still managed to, to, to get things done. Even though my, my vision was narrowing, it's n nothing like now. Now I don't drive, but back then I, I knew I had a problem, but I didn't really know what to do because I hadn't read anything on successful uh, therapies um, until I retired and I came to Florida. And I read more. I think I read an article about a, a guy that wanted our government to get involved, Congress, to help people that had um, visual problems uh, offset their costs because it's very expensive. He had stem cell. That's the first time I had read about stem cell therapy. And he was just raving about it. I said, that's amazing. And that's what got me going. And of course, one thing after the other, I wind up going to um, East Germany for that, and then Thailand, and of course, in Florida. And the only reason I had it done in Florida is because it was under the guise of clinical trials, except I had to pay for it. It's as much as it was going out of the country. But that didn't help. The first one in Germany was um, microcurrent stimulation. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I got started. That was mm -hmm. about four years ago. And the second time was in Thailand. Uh, had stem cell 
umbilical stem cell treatment there and five other, uh, four other therapies, uh, hyperbaric chamber, physical therapy, acupuncture, um, what else did we have? Oh, keto dieting. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it didn't help my eyes, but here's the thing. I was holding off on surgery before I went there. My meniscus in my right knee was torn. I was in an accident. And they said, don't have the surgery before you go and have your stem cell uh, therapy because stem cells may head down there and not take care of your eyes. Well, when I got back, I never did make an appointment again for my surgery because something happened. So we just assumed it must have been a stem cells. What brought me to the clinic was YouTube video. I've had a lot of um, stem cell treatments in the past. I was in um, Thailand, um, East Germany, and Florida. Uh, unfortunately, no, no help with that. However, I, I kept researching and I uh, pulled up YouTube video and I listened to a testimony by um, a guy by the name of uh, Patrick Chong. And I was, con I mean, he got my attention because he had a similar ailment, a similar problem. Uh, he had glaucoma and I have progressive uh, optic nerve neuropathy and it's low minus normal pressure which is very difficult to treat. He's the guy that, uh, in fact, I wind up writing a letter to him and he really gave me all the information I needed plus. So he's been very instrumental in helping me get here. After listening to him, I did a little research, did a little reading, and it seems as if the program here could possibly help me based on the kind of um, treatment I had at the other facilities. So that's why I'm here, um, got my fingers crossed. I know uh, with the staff here, they've been pretty uh, helpful. Dr. George explained a lot of things to me. Um, I'm always optimistic, but with the information uh, he gave me, I even felt better. So I'm not getting a, an immediate, oh great, this is happening now, but I, I'm hoping as he said, as things develop, if it's going to help me, I, I should see uh, the improvement. Appreciate what um, Dr. George, I call him Dr. Jorge, uh, what he told me because you, you, you just, you can't expect miracles. It has, um, stem cell treatment has a good track record with a lot of things, broad spectrum. Uh, I'm very impressed with uh, uh, how it's treating autism uh, patients. Um, as far as me and what he said, uh, I have a complex condition because I don't have that high pressure in the eye, which is uh, generally associated with glaucoma. I've got just regular pressure and they just don't know why my, <clears throat> my optic nerves are dying. Um, it's a mystery. And this is one way we can treat it, but we have to wait and see how the body accepts it and how it uses those cells. So mm -hmm. that's where I am. And another thing I was very impressed with, uh, you know, you, you listen to testimonials, but you're not quite sure how sincere they are until you come to the facility. And I noticed um, the staff, the support staff, the medical staff, everybody was very, very helpful. And I really appreciate that. They make you feel like home here. This facility here seemed to be more conducive to mm -hmm. uh, administering uh, this kind of uh, uh, therapy. Mm -hmm. Theirs was more, um, less professional. Mm -hmm. uh, not quite as clean mm -hmm. um, so it I guess it's just a matter of what the culture accepts 
Mm. Um, so I had to tolerate that. I couldn't go there and say that that needs cleaning or this needs that. And I just wanted those stem cells. <laughs> but here I felt comfortable, like, well, this is, this is good. I don't have to worry about this. But even the things that I've noticed, uh, small things, the staff right on it. They do their best to address all the little issues. They're more conventional doctors. They, they, they treat symptoms. Um, now I have a new doctor who is a DO. And I like that because they treat the whole person. Um, but I haven't been able to, because she's very new, I haven't been able to discuss stem cells with her. The previous doctor was okay with me getting stem cell treatment. He didn't say, no, you, you, this is dangerous, you shouldn't go. He signed all my documents and, and papers. And then I had all my um, medical tests done prior to going to the bone marrow transfer doctor down in Florida. Uh, so he was okay with that. But I know a lot of the doctors, they just don't, uh, they're not comfortable with, uh, if you tell them you're getting stem cells. Administering the, uh, the um, stem cells was different. Um, not, I mean, they're all, that part is the same, but I was explaining more here what everything was step by step, what every, every uh, infusion would do. And that's another thing here, I had um, a vitamin infusion. I had exochrome infusion. I didn't have that there in Thailand. Here it's cord blood and uh, placenta. And in Florida, mm -hmm. I use, they use my stem cells. Own stem cells. Yeah. We'll see how things go. I told doc, Dr. George, he's hoping that things will go well and if I needed additional stem cell treatment, I'll return. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan.